Hey guys, welcome back. This is Scott. I've got something for you, and this is from the Arecibo Telescope, okay, radio telescope, and it's a disc, a UFO disc with two rectangle-shaped craft going around it, orbiting around it, equally spaced. Now, you think, what? What are you talking about, Scott? There's no way this is possible. It is. Now, Arecibo radio telescope was destroyed by a spy that infiltrated them to make it so that if they destroy the radio telescope, they can build their own world's biggest telescope. China did that. This is the original data here. You can see Arecibo observation data there. This is the Doppler radar, guys. Doppler radar in 2017. Now, they call it 2003UX34, and some of the data is here. And this is a full view of it. I'm going to enlarge it and make it better, and I'm going to have just a screenshot of this part right there. Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, now watch this. This is just absolutely amazing, guys. Now, this is the original web page on the Aerocebo web page site, and uh, the data is great except for one thing. The data says that this is about uh, half a mile across but there's no rotation data there's supposed to be rotation data on every single asteroid and if you go and check other asteroids will have that data it's just why is there no rotation data unless there is no rotation this could be just holding still it looks like a large metal disc with two little ufos rotating around it for maybe perhaps safety or some other reason uh, but look at these other data of the same object, the same object. So it's not the only data there. There's proof this object is there. Now, they do call it an asteroid, but as you can see, when I freeze frame it, and I'll show you in a few minutes, or you could just jump forward and see that screenshot. It's absolutely amazing. This is no asteroid. Now, look at the data here. I highlighted that it says a diameter 0.3 km within a factor of two. That means uh, within, you know, 100%. So it could be up to 0.62 km across, uh, uh, half a mile across, basically. And uh, there's some other data up here, but there is no data this is up to two, up to 310 meters across uh, to a factor of two, which means, wow, that's huge, guys. That's really big. There's a lot of other data here that you could look at if you're interested in. Um, here's some more. Here's another web page. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to show you um, the size, very important, the size of this object, the asteroid, the name. You see all this. It's the whole page is dedicated to it. This is a different page. And I'm going to show you where in our solar system this object is. Yes, I'm going to show you a live map of this object and how close it comes to Earth several times a year. Uh, well, several times over several years. Now, here it is. The closest uh, to Earth is going to be equal to 18 uh, distances there. 18 million kilometers, sorry, uh, in 2025. And I'm going to show you that on the map in just a second. Guys, this is just amazing. It's just mind-blowing. Here's the map. Uh, let me make it full screen after I show you the comparison size. See this compared to the size of the Statue of Liberty. That is amazing. Of course, the shape is not the same. That might be the disc seen from the top. We're seeing it from the side on Doppler radar. Okay, so this thing is big. Oh my God, mothership big. Now here we are on the map. I'm going to make a full screen a second. This is also another map you could play around with. But this is the one that shows us the movement and comparison to Earth, the Sun, and other asteroids and planets in our solar system. Okay, I'm going to hit a little faster because it's going right now, but it's going too slow. And I'm going to enlarge it so you can see it better. Now mo mostly I'm focused on Earth and the asteroid, well, the, the disk, the UFO disk. And you see that this thing is flying around our solar system in its own unusual orbit. I mean, this is really, hey, it is out there. It, it is statistically impossible to have this kind of orbit in our solar system, and yet this exists. It has the orbit, and it has nothing that looks like an asteroid at all. Make it go a little faster so you can see it move. And you could change the speed, you can make it go faster, go to certain dates. Um, it, it's, it's pretty amazing scale right here, pretty amazing scale. But in just a second, I'm going to take you to a screenshot of 
the craft is self. And you want to see this, guys. You want to see this. You see that part right there? Did you see that? I'm going to take you to a screenshot of that one piece, that one section. I'm going to remove it and put it into a processor. And we're going to look at this one piece alone. But I want to see, show you the whole Doppler radar situation there. And I did enlarge it here so you can see it full screen and it's HD. Please make it HD. And if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, hit that like and subscribe button right now. I need your likes. I need your subscription. Here it is. Here's the original GIF. It's a GIF. A GIF has made from several photos put together to make a movie. This is, you just pick up the GIF, drop it on your desktop. Then you open it and you could choose which one you want. And the very last one, this one, this one is the Holy Grail. This one is the one you want to find because this is not an asteroid at all. It's a mothership, a half mile across in diameter mothership with two smaller UFOs, rectangle shape, flying around it. Is that amazing or what? Look at the detail. Look at that detail. Why aren't the other shots as clear as this? I think they accidentally left in or maybe it's on purpose, one screenshot of the actual UFO. The other ones are so fuzzy, they thought, well, the public doesn't matter, doesn't, they won't care, but they left in one. All we need is one piece of evidence to get the whole world knowing that aliens exist. Just one, one ripple, one, one little stone tossed into a tiny pond or a big pond, and it sends these ripples across the surface, all the way across the entire surface of the pond. That's what this is. This is that kind of evidence. This is, oh my God, it's a huge alien disc. Guys, this is just amazing. Make your own videos. Use my video on your website if you want to. Just uh, link back to me if you can. Uh, share this video on all the social media sites on Facebook, Instagram, threads, whatever you use, please share it. Uh, this is, people need to know about this. This is evidence that aliens exist and Arecibo Telescope has had this uh, data on their website for almost a decade, a uh, decade and a half actually. So guys, the Holy Grail, it's out there, the mothership. It's a half mile across, and these two little rectangle ships are flying around it in their own little orbit, most likely protecting it at all times in case of something coming towards the ship. These objects can move in front of it and protect it. And surely there's some kind of energy shields around these ships. All, all three of those ships will have some kind of energy shields protecting them. And uh, it's just amazing. This thing passes by Earth every few years like it's there to protect us. It's there watching over us. Now, I'm going to put the link about this in the about description below this video so you can find it for yourself if you don't believe me. Make your own videos. Tell us your thoughts about it. Tell us what's going on and why. The United States government is trying to hide all this important information from the public. They think we can't take the truth. Hell, we can take the truth. We're going to drag the truth out by its hair. And we're going to drag it out in the front of public and give it to the public to decide for themselves what the hell is the truth. Scott C. Waring, UFO Sightings Daily. Like and subscribe.